This may look like an antique store, but it's actually a museum slash artist studio in just about the last place you'd expect to find either one, Chesterfield Mall. The golden rule of sculpture is, is it interesting from all angles? Don Wiegand has been following that golden rule for more than 50 years. His work has taken him all over the world, but home has always been Chesterfield. We moved out here uh, when I was five. Mom and Dad started the smokehouse market. But instead of going into the family business, while he was still in high school, Don took an old slaughterhouse near the smokehouse and turned it into an artist's studio. Sculpting is my real passion. But in 2009, Don faced a tough challenge when the Corps of Engineers proposed a flood wall project that would have required his studio to be demolished. We battled the Corps in one, but unfortunately in those three years that we battled, uh, it was the start of the recession, and we were right in the middle of that. So between the money and time it took to uh, save the property from demolition with the Corps of Engineers, uh, and finishing the committed jobs I had, I didn't start any new jobs. It was the beginning of a perfect storm of financial setbacks that ended with Don losing his studio. But he never lost hope. Frankly, I said a prayer. And last September, it was answered when Chesterfield Mall, which is looking for ways to reinvent itself, invited Don to become a sort of sculptor in residence, giving him 3,000 square feet of empty retail space to use as a studio and as display space for some of his old plaster and clay originals. At first, I was resistant, but then the more I started thinking about it, and the more I could see the big pieces and the reaction of people here, it's really totally turned around in my head. Hoping to attract more shoppers, the financially troubled mall is also giving Don Wiegand space in other vacant storefronts to display examples of work he did for the Wiegand Foundation, which provides other nonprofits with artwork to use for awards, like this relief of Bob Hope, created for the Department of Defense. This is the aviation exhibit. Uh, for instance, we have the portrait of Amelia Earhart that I created honoring Amelia for her tremendous work for aviation. Great memories here. Uh, I first sculpted Mr. Bush in 1982 when he posed for me for St. Louis University. I'm trying to keep it fresh so it doesn't get boring. Uh, definitely in here, things are moving every day. Don is also using his newfound space to store some of his antiques, which is giving him the chance to realize another of his ambitions, to curate a museum of local history. I love it when people walk in here, they'll think, well, is this stuff for sale? I go, no, <laughs> we're here as a museum. But I'm really here more working on my private commissions and entertaining guests to coming into the mall. You know, it's an interesting building because if you really look at the architecture, there's some fun parts about it. I love the shadows, how they're creating on those shapes up there. Don also convinced the mall's management to let him exhibit some of nature's best artwork. This is my Asian pomelo plant. That's my gardenia. There's my bougainvillea. Don loves tropical plants and has installed a dozen from his own collection throughout the mall. He even takes care of the watering. I've enjoyed being here, surprisingly. I, when it first came up, I didn't know that I'd really enjoy it this much. Seeing the pieces reminds me so much of, I'm gonna call them love moments. Moments in life where that's what it's all about. It's not the value in what we say it's worth, it's the value in what it represents on what did it do to help somebody. Whether Don's work will bring in more shoppers is anyone's guess. But by combining all his passions under one roof, it becomes obvious that like his sculptures, Don Wiegand is interesting from all angles. They've been a wonderful team here that have allowed us to show our pieces. And the fun part is they're helping me. I think I'm helping them. I think I'm German enough I won't quit, but I'm Irish enough I'll toast. <laughs>